If I ever make a video by myself, I'm wearing this shirt so I can be like, my name is Rachel and I am one half of Two Crazy Ketos. You see what I did there? Well, if you did that, this would be the video to do because we have coffee creamer. Are you gonna make me share this? Of course, because I love coffee creamer. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Today we get to talk about Rachel's favorite subject. Coffee. Coffee. We've got our coffees right here. So we got this package in the mail from one of our favorite companies since going keto. And that Super is- Super Coffee. Super Coffee. And I'm excited about this because we love the Kaitu Super Coffee. We like the coffee, you like the espresso, and we really like the Super Creamers because me, I don't like black coffee. And so I need to have creamer in it. And when I want creamer in my coffee, I want a lot of it. I don't want a dollop. And a lot of times if you use regular heavy whipping cream, I only get maybe a tablespoon and mm -hmm. you're getting carbs in there. And with the Super Creamer, I can get three tablespoons as a serving, right. usually. We'll see if this is the same well, way. One of the things that people don't like or didn't like about Super Coffee or Kaitu is the fact that they use like animal products, like, you know, whey protein and stuff like that. So they have come out with a plant-based uh, drink. Look at this gorgeous box. I like the box. I don't know if this box is available uh, they sent this to us, so we didn't pay for this, but I like this. This would be an awesome gift. I feel like Merry Christmas, so right? Let's, let's go ahead and take this out. So there's basically, so we got a creamer and then two super coffees. Joe has two super coffees. No, Rachel get one too. No, no. I like the super coffee better than you do. Well, you know what? Even my friends who are not keto enjoy the super coffee. I like the fact that they're putting it in the cans now. So I do like that. So here's what we got. So these are plant protein super coffees. So I think these are both the same flavor, right? Coconut, Coconut mocha? mocha. Okay, so we're gonna start off with, you wanna try this? Sure. Or do you wanna try this? Well, I got my coffee here, so maybe we should try this first. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this. We will put everything through a five things review. Shake it good. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Ooh, look, here we go. Ooh, nice. What is the flavor of this This one? is French vanilla, which I do not believe there is a whey protein French vanilla, right? No, so this is a new My guy. favorite of the other kind is the sweet cream. I like year round the, the one- pumpkin The spice. pumpkin, maple pumpkin. One, two, three. I know I haven't looked at the serving, but the regular one is three, three tablespoons, tablespoons. And I'm Actually, pretty good at, Oh, I was gonna taste it, taste it first. Oh, well, I guess now you get extra. Give me, a, give me a little hit. You see what I did there? Okay. I know what to do. You ready? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So that tastes like, what was that drink that was like a plant based that was really delicious? Koya Keto. That's what it tastes like. It does. Um, it's not as thick as the other ones. No. It's but very it does have sweet. a good flavor. It's very, very sweet. But they were smart to do French vanilla, which was something that we hadn't tasted before because you're not naturally comparing it to the other one, right? right. Like I think if they did a, you know, a maple pumpkin and then they gave me the plant one, I'd be like, is it different? Mm -hmm. Let's see. I feel like I need extra in this one. Mm. It doesn't seem to flavor Ooh. as my coffee as much as the sweet cream. Really? Maybe maybe, maybe, maybe I didn't add flavor. enough. I don't know. But. but here's the thing. I drink my coffee black normally, so it feels like a flavor explosion in mine right now. Actually, it's I, I get it. Um, definitely not as thick. Wow, no. Um, I definitely can mm -hmm. tell mm -hmm. it's plant-based. Yes. It's, it's definitely, I definitely get that, but it's not bad at all. I mean, no. if you're looking for... 
a plant-based or a plant protein is the better way to say it. A plant protein creamer. I like this better than like the nut pods and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah. This is much better. Way more flavor. Um, and here's the thing. I have tried to add the Koya keto thing that we had drank before to coffee and it didn't work. So I don't know what no. little extra dynamic that they're putting in this, but it mixes way better. Well, this, coffee. this is the creamer. Whereas that's supposed to be a drink. Yeah. You want to try this before mm -hmm. we get to five things? Mm. Okay. So this is Good. coconut mocha flavor. Coconut mocha. Everybody's not a fan of coconut. I hope it's got more chocolatey taste than coconut taste, but we'll see. That is definitely coconut. It definitely is coconut. I am, I'm not liking that as much as the other super coffees. I'm gonna tell yeah. you that right now. I mean, yeah. Um, it's like coconut water. It was like chocolate coconut water. It's a little bit chalky compared to the whey protein one. It's also a little bit sour. But I maybe get that. But I don't maybe get that. it's the, not bad. I think it's better than the Koya keto drinks. Not that flavor. Not that for me. Okay. Okay. This is good. Let's go over five things. Yeah. So five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Numero uno. Okay, we'll start off with where we started off. Um, okay, so I was looking, there is a little bit of copy on the back end. So it all started in our little brother's dorm room, tired of unhealthy energy drinks. We wow. removed the negatives and added positives because if we change our energy, we change the world. Aw. And that is Jordan, Jake, and Jimmy. Okay, Thanks, guys. So on the front it says it's two grams of plant protein per three tablespoons, zero grams of sugar, nothing artificial. I love three tablespoons as a serving. Oh, you may really like this though. Okay. So the ingredients in this are purified water, pea protein, coconut MCT oil, monk fruit, natural vanilla flavors, gum arabic, potassium phosphate, natural flavors, gland gum, and calcium carbonate. Okay. Um, in this one, it's got Colombian coffee, which is water, coffee, pre pea protein, cocoa powder, MCT oil, potassium phosphate. There's monk fruit, natural flavor, calcium carbonate, organic green coffee, caffeine, and gallon gum. So good ingredients in both products. I'm really happy with the ingredients. Yes. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Let's see. Okay, so you're gonna like this. All right. So serving size is three tablespoons. Yes. 15 calories per serving. Wow. As opposed to the other one I believe is 50? Yes. Okay. Wow. 15 calories per serving, one gram of fat, two grams of protein, zero total carbs. Zero total carbs. Zero grams of dietary fiber, zero sugars. Wow. So zero, 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 zero. Here's what I'm gonna say though. Even though it's, a, we say this all the time, even though it says zero total carbs. Count one. Count one. Can't. You're not going to hurt yourself if you count one. And if you're Rachel and you're using 50 cups of coffee a day, so you're like, well, I don't want to do one because I'm going to have 50 total carbs. Now it's time to reevaluate how many cups of coffee that you're drinking, Rachel. Because right. I've been there. I've done that. But one total carb, I don't think it's going to hurt you. Yeah. I mean, it's it's the same thing with heavy whipping cream, right? If you look at heavy whipping cream, a lot of the containers, depending on the company, says zero. Yeah. But there actually is a carb in heavy whipping cream. It's just less than one carb for a tablespoon. But if you start adding two, three, four tablespoons, you're adding carbs. It's just good to be aware of it. So I would do the same thing with this, even though it says zero, because let's face it, most of us are not going to pull out a tablespoon measure no. and measure it. You're Could going you, to do it like the way did. I did it. Drop, drop, drop. Well, now what if I'm slightly over three tablespoons? Good chances I've got a carb in there. So count it as a carb and you'll be good. Yeah, you'll be okay. happy with that. I that one? With this like nutrition label, I could totally see me making a changeover if they get more of a variety of flavors in this line because 15 calories and no carbs, like, hello, yes, I could have multiple cups of coffee in the day and not, like, derail myself. 
How about that one? All right, so for this, 90 calories, okay. still still good. That's you know something that my friends that are not keto have always loved about this because it's still low in calories right. also for a very flavorful drink. Total fat, 3.5 grams, 10 grams of protein, four total carbs, which isn't bad at all, two dietary fiber, so you're looking at two net carbs. Okay. Yeah. Pretty good nutrition facts as far as the nutrition label. Number... Three, how does it taste? Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay. I, I'm going to be honest. It's not nearly as good as the other super coffees. Yeah. It, it's it, in my personal opinion. Now, I like whey protein based drinks. Some people have an issue with whey protein. Absolutely. So if, and I'm not talking about like an issue like, oh, you shouldn't have it. I'm talking about like a digestive issue exactly. with it. And they need to avoid whey protein. If that's the case, I think this is an awesome option. Absolutely. Give it a shot. I think that the that the the ingredients and the nutrition facts help you to say like, I could try it at least and see are my tastes like Rachel and Joe's or am I totally feeling differently about it? Yeah. I mean, taste is absolutely subjective. As you can see, I don't think it's that bad. Rachel's like, absolutely not. Yep, though. <laughs> yep. For me, this one tastes really good. I was still talking about this one. I'm I'm excited about this. Okay, so I want to go back to this one for a minute though. Mm -hmm. Because we used to get, except for they were super expensive, like I think $3.99 a container, the Koya Kitos. We got them at Whole Foods a lot. Yeah. They did have some interesting flavors like cake batter and stuff like that. I think this one actually is a less chalky than those. They obviously have some unique flavors. Mm -hmm. But as far as consistency, the texture on your tongue, the overall flavor, this one is good. Rachel just is not a big coconut kind of person. But it, it's a little chalky like most plant uh, protein drinks, but not as bad as some of the ones that I've tried. I would be willing to try other flavors because maybe just coconut and mocha doesn't work for me. You I'm, don't usually like mocha flavors to begin with. Yeah, exactly. Because I think it wants to be coffee and it doesn't taste coffee and it's not, it doesn't taste chocolate either. It's like right. be some, it's a third option. So yeah, I would be interested again, because of the nutrition facts, because of the ingredients, I would be willing to try another flavor if there's another one in the line and that may taste better. Okay. Now you can talk about this one. This is this is money. That is a winner. They they have really won with this, and the fact that it is s like total carbs none or one, and fifteen calories per serving. Like this is my new go to. Yeah, I I like this one. I I'm I don't know. Sweet cream always going to be at my heart. Yeah, I, I just love 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 the sweet cream. It's one. delicious. They also have a caramel one, which we have not yet tried. Uh, this is real, especially when you get into the nutrition facts. Of yeah. It. This is really good. For me, I'm a one to maybe two cup of coffee a day person. So Slacker. I don't mind the one with 50 calories in it. And honestly, I like the taste of whey protein. But there are times where I'm like, I've had too much whey protein in the day and I wouldn't mind switching over to this. And for me, it seems like, you know, creamed coffee is now back on the market because I was trying to kind of cut out you know, it, because I was drinking too many cups a day okay. for, for me to have it in, you know, multiple cups. Right. Number four, how much does it cost? Okay. How does this compare to the other one? Well, I've got interest. their website up over here and, uh, here's the good thing. It looks like it's about the same price. Okay. So the coconut mocha super coffee on the website is $28.86 on a subscribe and save. We're going to click one-time purchase. I like that. $33.95 for 12 cans if you buy a one-time purchase. Now, they always have, have deals. deals. So make sure you sign up for like their newsletters and stuff like that. There's a link down below that you can use to purchase it. I don't remember if we have a coupon code. If we do, I'll have it down in the description. Uh, but... They have deals all the time. All the and time. some of the deals are really, really good. Now, if you use that link, I do want to say it does help support the channel. We greatly appreciate you guys using that. Thank but you. don't feel obligated to buy this just because 
We need some money. Right. Well, and they do have really great sales at end of season. So like when you're done with the fall season, maple pumpkin usually goes on sale. Like, right. you know, the things that they have for the Christmas, you know, flavors, it will go on sale at the end of the season. So that's when we really stock up on it. Yeah, because they are shelf stable until you open them. That's yeah. something important to know. Okay, back to the prices. So don't you like this can? I do like the can. So again, one-time purchase, $33.95 for a 12-pack, 24-pack, uh, $64.50. If you do subscribe and save, you get a significant savings. On a 24-pack, you save $10 That's on a subscribe a and money. save. And on the 12-pack, uh, you save about $5. It drops to $28.86. On the creamers, uh, a we're on subscriber and save. $19.99 for a three pack. That's this. So that's about what, six fifty a piece. Same price that you're usually gonna find it like in sprouts and stuff like that. Uh a six pack is $37.98. So they drop like two, three bucks off of that. If you go subscribe and save, $17 for three of them. And the six pack is $30. $4 subscribe and save. So again, significant savings, about a $6 savings going subscribe and save. But I would have to know I like it. Yeah. So I would try it first and then see if you like it and then decide. I would definitely check some of your local stores. Like see I know Sprout it. sells it, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And look for them in those kind of places. Yeah. So number five, would we recommend it? I would absolutely recommend even these, even though the flavor is not my favorite because you may really enjoy it. And there are some people that need this plant-based mm -hmm. instead. So yeah. I would absolutely recommend all of these products, but this in particular, I am definitely going to be using. Yeah, for me, I'm gonna say this. If you enjoy the whey protein and you don't have a problem with it, stick with it. Yeah. If you occasionally want to have a pea protein based drink, go ahead and try these. If you've had the things like nut pods, yes, I would definitely give this a try. We tried the nut pods and honestly, we threw them out. Yeah, wasn't they my favorite. They were not that good. I did not like them at all. I felt they were very weak. They lacked flavor. They were very watery. This is much more, better. More flavor, more taste in this than the nut pods. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's going to be our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section. First of all, do you like super coffee? Yes. Uh, what is your favorite flavor of super coffee? That's what I'm about. And have you tried any of their plant protein super coffee drinks? And what do you think about it? Yeah. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.